Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Culturally Challenged. My name is David. This is my beautiful wife, Tony. Hello. And tonight we're taking a little break from the super scary stuff and we are going to be watching Death Becomes Her. What do you know about it? Nothing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I saw this, I think it was in, I think it came out in like 1992. So I saw it way back when it came out. Um, what I do remember about this movie was that the special effects at the time were pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they're going to hold up now, but I do remember that was like one of the big selling points of this movie were the special effects. Uh, I think it was, I think they used a lot of CGI for the first time or very early on in CGI. So mm -hmm. we'll see how it is, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. And then we'll get back into the really scary stuff. <laughs> I'm so going to be glad when October's over. Oh, well, you know, there's scary November. You know, those, no, there isn't. Those, it's thankful November. No, there's, there's all those horror films that take place at Thanksgiving. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep the season going. <laughs> all right. You ready to get started? Yes. All right, well, if you guys enjoy this reaction, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, let us know what you thought of uh, Death Becomes Her, and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing, it really helps us out. Comment, uh, Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and if you would like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else that we've reacted to, put the link to our Patreon down below, and on that note, on with the show. Bruce Willis? Yeah. With hair, I think. That's pretty. Yeah. I like all the lights. Talk about waking the dead. I gotta get a drink. <laughs> waking the dead. <laughs> what do I see? What do I see? She hasn't changed much. I no, not really. We should continue this. And watch Mamma Mia. You know, I wouldn't be totally against it, but I think with the copyright stuff, that would be next to impossible to do. Oh, um, that's true. Maybe the devil wears Prada? We're both expanding our uh, pop culture knowledge, so... All these people are leaving? Yeah. I don't think the show was that bad. I'm gonna start th <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> and... Oh, Bruce Willis. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Is he the only one clapping? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look casual. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, well, how it's are you? So long. I know. Don't you dare say how long. Mad, I'd like you to meet Dr. Ernest Manville, uh, my fiance. You were just wonderful. I've that read all about dance you. Number. Boy, oh boy, that, uh, I can't um, believe I'm meeting you. He never told me he has such a Madeline Ashton thing. Well, we're. <laughs> Tell me, Doctor, do you think that I'm starting to need you? <clears throat> <laughs> Some jealousy here. There are two fat compartments in the upper eyelid, three in the lower. Oh, quickly, please. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, Helen, it was a dinner. A business dinner. The woman wanted my professional opinion. She wants you because you're mine. I've lost men to her before. She just turns on that flash and that glitter and they're gone. Do you know how silly you're sounding? I have absolutely no interest in Madeline Ashton. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> wow. That's terrible. Yeah. <gasps> Ouch. That's lovely. 
guess she turned into the cat lady. Yeah, and part-time hoarder. <laughs> Kate <Ooh>. Frosting. <laughs> I like the bunny slippers, though. Yeah. You'd think she'd at least use a spoon. I have your final eviction notice. Okay? It's like her favorite scene. <laughs> Why are they taking her? She's being evicted, I guess. What about you, Helen? Is there um anything you'd like to t talk about? I would like to talk about Madeline. Uh... <laughs> they don't want to hear about her anymore. <laughs> About her. You're absolutely right. What is she gonna do? Kill her? Mm -hmm. So now we would be up to present day when this was filmed. Oh. I like the stairs. Yeah, nice house. <laughs> that the maid doesn't like those stairs. <laughs> There's a lot of crap on her face. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh madam, you look younger every day. Forever young? I like that title. <laughs> it's like a cackle. <laughs> he hates his life. Angel I see before me. Oh. I don't like tomato juice, like V juice. I love, love, oh. love Bloody Marys. Ugh, no, I can't do it. Is it up yet? Is it up yet? <laughs> I feel like she likes the role of the wear the Devil Wears Prada. This would have been pretty far, pretty early before Devil Wears Prada. What in the world? Ugh, that doesn't look fun. separation is a very traumatic process to the body. Our policy clearly prohibits more than one in a six-month period. Miss Ashton, you had one three weeks ago. I could pay you extra. Money is no object. It means nothing to me. <clears throat> oh, where, where did he come from? I am very sensitive to your comments. I could not help but overhear your little joke about money being no object. That was no joke. Lisa von Ruman. She accepts calls day or night. We shall be seeing more of you. What is with his twitch? Yeah. He looks a bit sweaty or... Could you just not breathe? <laughs> not breathe. Dr. Menzel, well, I never had a chance to thank you for the spectacular job you did with my Anna. Almost a shame to bury her. It's so sweet of you to say that. Can I ask you what your secret is? Spray paint. You can't just use regular makeup on dead skin. The pores are too dry. Excuse me. <laughs> So he's gone from being a top uh, plastic surgeon to spray painting dead people. Yeah. He's obviously miserable, though. Yeah. Oh, look over there. Oh, looks as though she's lost a few pounds. We're leaving. <laughs> I didn't see you there. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm glad you came. Mm. I didn't know if you would. I spoke to my PR woman, and she said Madeline Ashton goes to the opening of an envelope. <laughs> opening of an envelope? <laughs> you didn't steal him. He went to you. I have never, ever blamed you. <laughs> <laughs> Life has turned out to be quite a party. I know about the kind of work you're doing. I would sell my soul to be able to operate again. Oh, Helen, I have wasted my life. No, Ernest. She's wasted you. I have never blamed you for leaving me. She's, she's pitting them against each other. Uh, oh. <laughs> What's wrong? 
Nothing. I, I didn't know you were coming over. Oh, my second. God, you're not alone. Of course I am. I'm completely alone. Dakota! <laughs> Look, you, you gotta believe me. I mean, this is perfectly innocent. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor here. You know, the other day somebody told me we look ridiculous together. So you never think about my feelings. You go find someone your own age, Madeline. <gasps> <laughs> Cue the rain. Whoa. I'm kind of surprised she knows how to drive. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. The heck? I need to speak to Madeline at once. She's trying to tear up. <laughs> she plotting her revenge. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> yeah. This is called Death Becomes Her? Yep. Some wild looking house. Mm hmm. I wonder if it's a real house. I mean, it would have been 92. They couldn't have done CGI very well. Miss Von Rubin's expecting you. Take the sunglasses off. It's like pitch black outside. Yeah, he was driving that way too. Yeah. Wait here, please. But he has really nice houses. She can't see with the glasses. Oh, there's dogs. Follow me, please. Hmm. <laughs> well behaved, that's for sure. I hope you'd come. Make some room for my friend, for Christ's sake. <laughs> this is the American Gladiators or something. We are creatures of this spring, you and I. Does she have a gold ear? Madeline, I need to speak to Madeline. She's not here. <laughs> Don't pretend you're not aware of it. What? You're a powerful. Sexual being, <laughs> <laughs> If I never told you before, it's because I just wasn't the sort of girl that could say the word sexual without blushing. Well, I can now. <laughs> He's just... Uh... So warm, so full of life. Her hands look bad, actually. This is life's ultimate cruelty. It offers us a taste of youth and vitality, and then makes us witness our own decay. Well, it is the natural law. No, screw the natural law! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Touch of magic. It's so weird that she has one long nail. I didn't notice. What does it do? How old would you guess I am? 38. <laughs> 28. 3? 23. I am 71 years old. That's what it does. Drink that potion. How much is it? Did say money's not an object. Mm-hmm. It's a big old rock on her hand. I think I should be going. Sit! See? One long nail. Oh, yeah. Hold out your hand. Ow. <laughs> Check okay? Fine. <laughs> the secret that we share must never become public. Before people become suspicious, you have to disappear from public view forever. You can retire, you can stage your own phony death. <laughs> How much was it? I don't know. I, could, I didn't see the check. I was distracted by the ring. <laughs> mm. She's intense, isn't she? Bottoms up. <laughs> now a warning. Now a warning? <laughs> Sempre viva. Live forever. <laughs> I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I should have divorced Madeline a long time ago. Oh, by God, that is exactly what I am going to do. Divorce <laughs> in California? You have no talent for poverty. You mean it's worse than Texas? <laughs> I don't know. I've thought this thing through carefully, and I know it's the only way. Tonight, you'll sneak downstairs quietly, go to the study, 
and take one of each kind of wine glass. Then you'll take this Narconal and lightly coat each glass. Tomorrow I'll call Madeline. Fine, why don't you just come to dinner? Then at dinner, we propose a toast. <laughs> First, we finish dinner. We <laughs> finish dinner. We'll sit her up in the driver's seat and make it look like she's had <laughs> just a little bit too much to drink. <laughs> and send her on her way. Would that really work? I don't know. They'll check her blood alcohol. <laughs> the case is closed. Madeline is dead. And we're free. We can't go through with this, Alan. After she's gone, you can start your life all over again. She's killing you. It would be self-defense. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's a gigantic house. Mm -hmm. We have to talk. You changed your hair? What an eye. Don't wait up. Cheap. What did you say? I called you cheap. You're a tragic, boozy, flaccid clown. What That's it. Man? You're not even a man anymore, and I need a man. Oh. Just going to take it forever, Madeline? Did you? Help me! Help me! Help me! How is she staying up? <laughs> oh! <gasps> the last stairs. Oh! <laughs> oh boy! Seems like she fell down a lot more stairs than that. <laughs> or like three or four times. Guess it could have been an accident, right? Yeah. Is she gonna get up though? I mean, she just drank that stuff. She's pretty mangled. <laughs> I kind of feel like she's gonna get up. Oh. Helen, it's me. I did it. Pushed her down the stairs and she is absolutely stone cold. Exactly which part of the plan were you unclear on? No, Helen, you don't understand. <laughs> Right now? No. Okay, I've got it. As soon as we hang up, you call the police. You tell them you were on the phone with me when you heard a terrible scream. Got it. Ernest. Ernest! You pushed me down the stairs. How did the telephone come? Yeah, it unplugged. Badly, look at yourself. Huh? <laughs> Ernest, I can see my ass. <laughs> Huh. Honey, I think I need a doctor. No oh, crap! Your oh, let's have a little look at you here. Which wrist is it? Right. Uh, does it hurt when I do this? No. This doesn't hurt? Mm -mm. No. Are you telling me it doesn't hurt when I, I do this? this? It doesn't hurt. I told you that. Okay, what's this, uh, what's this you're talking about with your neck? Just, just... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's no heartbeat? Huh. What? What is it? What's the matter? Okie dokie. I, I think that just about uh, covers it. I wonder if I might have any stuff that I Yes, of course. To... <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. There's a uh, uh, kind of odd thing here. The, the, the uh, bone protrusion through the skin. That, that's not a good sign. And uh... <laughs> Not a good sign. You're in violation of every natural law that I know. You're sitting there. You're talking to me. But you're dead. Where are all the doctors? No, 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 no
he did that? Probably not, no. right? <laughs> Was she starting to look pale or something? Guess so, she's dead. Yeah, really pale. Kiss the chef. <laughs> Whoa! She's resting. She's not resting. She's dead, Ernest. You may have done it alone, but I can't walk away from this now. Not after you're putting us both in jeopardy like this. She was a homewrecker. And she was a bad actress. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> oh, if she's not dead, you tell her to come down here. Walk right up to me and kiss me on the... Kiss you on the what? Mad? <laughs> Are you angry, dear? Are you very angry? It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> Frankenstein. Dear? Madeline? Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to bury her. What if the police should receive an anonymous phone call about you and find me on the floor? Ain't nobody can play dead like me, Ernest. You're going to be very popular in prison. <laughs> Put the body right here. <gasps> How is she alive? I don't know. What the heck? Changes. That was totally uncalled for. Just look at me. I'm soaking wet. And there seems to be something wrong with your, uh, blouse. Blouse? I have a hole in my stomach! And you're still alive. That's another miracle! <laughs> <laughs> you took the potion. <gasps> you took the potion, too! Wait a second! I don't think this is a miracle at all! If I... Oh. On guard. I'll tell you about pain. I will not speak to you till you put your head on straight. You admit you thought I was cheap. Okay. <laughs> tell you both that I've come to a decision that I'm leaving hell that you would fix her. Oh, and Maddie needs work too. She's got all those necklaces. Amazing. Oh, not a blemish, not a pore. You just got a little what? thing. Ooh. Ooh. What if it fades? What if it chips? What if it rains? Good. Well, what are we going to do? He'll have to take the potion. Ern, darling. We thought you might like some breakfast. You know, I was just thinking. I was questioning myself. I was. Nice Louis Vuitton. Yeah. I finally realized something. I've lived up to my promise. So that's the worst part. Cheers. You know something else? <laughs> I drink too much. <laughs> she was wearing a scarf in the pool. And heels. I'm throwing a party upstairs. All right. Who does that? I don't know. <laughs> the gift of life. That long nail just creeps me out. <laughs> Show me your hand. I won't bite. I'll just stab you. Yeah. Oh! Ah! What are you doing? I'm loving you. Stop! <laughs> Freak. <laughs> Why is it windy? It's an indoor pool. <laughs> then what happened? I don't want to live forever. I mean, it sounds good, but what am I going to do? You take the potion. Who am I going to hang around with? Madeline and Helen? <laughs> but everybody else will. I'll have to watch everyone around me die. This is not a dream. This is a nightmare. You people all have to be stopped. <laughs> 
short. <laughs> he finally hit something. Relax. You won't get far. Not at his age. <laughs> I don't think I would take it. That would be... Why? You uh, say you want to be... I wouldn't want to be all broken and have to be like spray paint myself. <laughs> Gorg B spray painted. <laughs> Andy Warhol, Marilyn Monroe. First, I must remind all of you who staged your own death of our very strict policy against popping up in public. You know who you are. Trying to have some fun, man. Elvis. <laughs> Look, there's Ernest. God, he still looks like hell. He's still got it. He's still the room. Dang it. <laughs> they don't see him? Guess not. He's going up. <laughs> going up, of course. Mm, scary. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> going up some more. Yep. They always go up. You're right. That's supposed to hold them? I guess he thinks it will. At least it's like at a slant, so that's a good yeah. thing. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Do you still have the potion? It's the only way you'll survive if you fall. Take it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. You have to. You. You're on your own. <laughs> oh, in the pool. Yeah, he'd still be dead. <laughs> Does he not know how to swim? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be done soon or what? <laughs> I am going to be done very soon. Why is he bleeding? Because he went through a glass <laughs> window. <laughs> That's funny, he's trying to walk out very calmly. Yeah. <laughs> James Dean. What in the world is she wearing? She specifically told us to take care of our bodies. We just have to be very, very careful. I'll paint your ass, you paint mine. <laughs> 37 years later. Now, Dr. Ernest Menzel always felt that life begins at 50. Because it wasn't until 50 that he met his lovely wife, Claire, that he had two sons and four daughters. Dr. Mendel pursued with vigor a variety of pursuits, not just to attain some personal ambition. He took the potion. No, it looks like he died at, a, at 87 or whatever. The Mendel Marriage Counseling Clinic. And of course, Ernest's AA chapter will carry on long after his death. <laughs> oh my god. And uh, we've all heard his tall tales about the living dead in Beverly Hills. <laughs> You're not crying, are you? Something in my eye. Uh, Do you have that number nine acrylic? I it's must have dropped apart. it somewhere. I had it when we left the car, okay? My goodness. This man <laughs> had in his own way learned the secret of eternal life. <laughs> And it is my opinion that our beloved Ernest is one man who will indeed live forever. Blah, blah, blah. What'd you do with that? Oh my God. They're all torn up. <laughs> How could you have lost an entire can of spray paint? Why do I have to carry everything? If I knew I'd know where it was, an entire can of spray paint. Get off it! Ah! Ah! Help me! Ah! A lot of stairs. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you remember where you parked the car? <laughs> okay, so that was Death Becomes Her. What did you think? That was a little ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, lighthearted at least, right? Yeah, Not yeah. too scary. Uh, Though, as usual, I'm confused. He, did he take the potion? No. A portion of the potion? Mm -mm. No, the whole point was he found the secret to eternal life by, you know, enriching the people around him and passing it on to the younger generation. Mm. He'll live mm. forever through them. Gotcha. So, yeah, he went on to live 37 more years after 50 and, you know, 
Well, that was fun. Yeah, it was a fun movie. I mean, what, what did you think of the special effects? I mean, for 92, they were pretty, yeah, pretty impressive, yeah. I thought. That wasn't bad at all. So, would you take the potion? I wouldn't, but I think you would. No, I wouldn't want to be falling apart like that. That would... Well, they were only falling apart because they were clumsy. But at some point, I mean, you're going to fall and break, break something. <laughs> yeah, or, or do something and, and end up, you know, going down that path. So Maybe. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't think I would take it. At first, it was an interesting... You know, I, I was surprised when he asked that. You know, she's like, live forever. And he's like, and then what? What if I get bored? <laughs> you right. know? Right. Like, yeah, okay. That's a very good point. Yeah, I guess I can see that. So, so yeah, you had a not so scary kind of. It was movie, good. I really so. did enjoy that. It was odd. Yeah. It was odd. Yeah, it was different. Yeah. So. It was good. All right. Anything else? No, thank you for not. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for not um, making me scared tonight. All right. Well, that'll be tomorrow night. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of Death Becomes Her. Um, if you would like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else we've reacted to, we'll put the link to our Patreon down below. Uh, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, help us grow, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh,